Assalamualaikum. This is Dr. Hasna, and today we're beginning the new region, the lower limb. We've already gained an insight of the upper limb and the thorax. As we all know, the body is composed of an axial skeleton and an appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton includes the limbs. The two limbs are the upper and the lower limbs. The axial skeleton includes the head, the neck the thorax and the abdomen. Today we're going to start with the lower limb. And just like the upper limb, the lower limb also begins with the girdle. Since in upper limb we have the shoulder girdle that was holding your appendicular skeleton to the axial skeleton, in the lower limb similarly we have the hip girdle. The hip girdle is composed of two hip bones. And what do the hip bones look like? This is what a hip bone looks like. And this is only one part of the hip bone. There is another hip bone that joins this hip bone to form the hip girdle. There's a difference between the word pelvis and the hip girdle. And the difference is that the hip girdle is basically formed with two hip bones. But when two hip bones combine and posteriorly join with the sacrum, which is a part of the vertebral column. When these combine, then it forms the entire pelvis. So the pelvis minus the sacrum is called the hip girdle. And the two hip bones plus the sacrum is known as the pelvis. So there are significant differences between the upper and lower limbs. As we all know that this is your lateral border or the radial border, also known as the preaxial border of the upper limb. In the lower limb, it is completely opposite. This is the preaxial or tibial border, which is basically the medial border is the preaxial border. But in upper limb case, the preaxial border is the lateral border. That is because during embryonic life, your limb buds undergo medial rotation of 90 degrees and your upper limb buds undergo lateral rotation of 90 degrees. Hence, there is a difference. Also, this results in the anterior segment of the upper limb to become the flexor compartment, while in the lower limb, the anterior compartment becomes the extensor compartment, which is extending your hip. So these are the major differences between your upper and lower limb. Your upper limb is specialized and made for fine and skilled movements. While your lower limb is, due to evolution, completely designed, specialized to carry out the action of stability. So while the upper limb is for the fine and skilled movement, the lower limb is for stability. Hence, the line of gravity in the lower limb will pass behind the hip joint and in front of your knee joint and in front of the ankle joint. So let's begin the region of lower limb by discussing the hip girdle first. In the next video, we will talk about the hip bone.